You know, guys, uh, welcome to our full review. Alright. You alright guys, welcome to our four free Ragnarok review. review. Went down to um showcase some deluxe and we watched it in. <laughs> 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 That's it, watch it, you see that in 3D. Like 3D. Yeah, the other day we went down to showcase some of the deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, the other day we went down to our uh, local cinema, showcase cinema deluxe, and we watched it in 3D. How did you find it? It was uh, just intense. Uh, definitely go to see it. <laughs> when we went to see the new four, that's weird, it was a four year wait to see four. That was so ironic. Next time you appear in the Marvel Universe. We'll be in 2018. In Marvel's Infinity War. Um, yeah, so when we went to see the new four, it was the first time that us two have ever seen a four movie together. Like, we watched what Marvel movies have we watched together? Uh, Ant Man, but. We Deadpool. We saw watched Spider Man twice. Together. Yeah, we've seen both Spider Man together. Like, the 2012 one, 2017 one. We watched some of the uh, latest X Men movies uh, together. Uh, Gardens of the Galaxy. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, we watched like, Wonder Woman. Like, basically, we watched quite a few uh, superhero movies together. Um, but yeah, what did you think of the, fi uh, the film then? Oh, uh, I was say it's the best Marvel years I've enjoyed in years. Um, I think it's one of the funniest uh, Marvel movies. Um, the funniest two ones, Marvel movies, I would say, is probably Deadpool and Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, because it's technically like, probably like fourth then, but fucking sick. Um, well, anyway, this is going to be our review. We're going to detail. Uh, four in more detail. So yeah, first thing I've got to mention, uh, what do you think of his new look, his new haircut? I actually didn't think it would have suited, but looking like more, I really like it. Uh, I remember like the news and I like all the women were like getting mad because everyone was saying like he's not got long hair anymore, but he's four. He can, he's a god. He can do whatever he wants, surely. Yeah, he's not that stereotypical long hair god. I think it's a uh, sick trim, but yeah, that's the first thing I want to say about that. Well. The villain in this, Steve, what do you think to the villain? What is she, would you say? Uh, fucking bitch. <laughs> See, you would have. can't say oh. that. You can't say that she's. Well, um. Even though she is a sister. Uh. It's not really much of a spoiler, but, um. She's basically been buried underneath Asgard for a thousand years. Um. For a very good reason. Because Odin's been hiding some very dark secrets. Uh. Did you know, Dave, as well? She was like the first villain, first female villain that they've used in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I know, it's hard to believe, but it's wow. I think it's now. I think she's the most powerful one that they've used so far. I mean, she's, she took on Loki. Uh, a lot of people may notice that Thor's other half is significant other. He's not in this. Uh, Jane Foster. Did you notice that her not like, appearing in this one? She didn't actually cross my mind at first, but then as I went to, got to the end of the film... I realise. Well, was you surprised by that? Uh, a lot of people might not know this, but yeah, um, she she terminated a contract. Uh, terminated her contract. She weren't happy with how much she was being paid, and apparently she didn't really like the role. I missed her and Darcy, her mate, and uh, Darcy's intern. Um, it, whatever his name was, but yeah, um, missed her. But yeah, she was a nice piece, and they've gave for another lover. So yeah, but goodbye, Jane Foster for now. Now, Loki in this, oh, he's got a bigger role than I thought. What did you think to Loki? Yeah, uh, to be fair, as the four films I've been along, I've liked him more and more. Yeah, he's, man, he's so funny in this. And uh, in this one, I feel like Thor and Loki come across more like brothers. Like, Thor 1, not like brothers and an Avengers. Yeah, connected more. They, they connected more. And they say that he's a, he's a god of mischief. Well, he was in this. He pulled a lot of tricks on all of us and... His reaction when he saw Thor, what did you think? You mean Hulk? Yeah, Hulk, what am I on about? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh my god, just, just imagining that scene and just moving up. He just grabs him and like flips him like a pancake, like <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, so funny. Jokes. Yeah, and this, um, they've like teased uh, like Thor's new love interest. What did you think to her? To yeah, she, was, <clears throat> she was a bit of a bitch at first, but as she progressed in the film. Got warm to her. But she like, I mean, at the start, she like had like a don't give a fuck attitude. I mean, like when she was like, 
sitting inside like this uh, spaceship. She's just there like drinking and thinking, what the fuck? Like she saw Hulk and Thor fight. She was just like, yeah. Yeah. And it was funny when she met Bruce Banner and didn't realize who he was. Yeah, she didn't realize his old um, his old ego. Uh, Bissy and this, um, yeah, they teased like um. Well, they introduced the Valkyrie, which are like these old female um, Asgardian warriors. Um, so they like showed you more of the uh, the armies that Asgard used to have. And I liked how she was trying to hide away from the past, and eventually she she came back and passed on the uh, legacy. Now in this, you see Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, what did you think to that? Yeah, that was, that was a really happy to. Uh... See, and he's one of my favourite new characters who are coming up in the Marvel Universe. Like, the scene in which this show for and Doctor Strange, they show part of this scene as the Easter egg at the end of Doctor Strange. Um, his scene was a lot longer than I thought. What I liked about it in this one as well, you got to see him perform more of the spells. Like he knows his way in more around the mansion that he's in. Um, yeah, I think his scene was like um, a lot more interesting as well. He was aware of who Loki was. Oh, that scene, you know, where, where like, uh, Loki, like, falls through the portal, and he's just like, I've been falling for 30 minutes. I imagine you a bit high or something, that would be trippy. Imagine, like, they've been pulled through di different dimensions for 30 minutes. Fuck that. I'd rather fall off, I don't know, probably, I'd rather do, like, a leap from the top of a spaceship to the ground and fall through dimensions for 30 minutes. That's random. Right, let's get into Idris Elba's character. Right, Heimdall, in this... He's not just standing there um, being a watcher. He's actually getting in with the action. Um, well, he, he did obviously fall to Dark World. But yeah, in this one, you see Heimdall. He's like a freedom fighter in this one. Where the Asgardian people, when Thor's not there to protect him, he obviously like helps them. Um, he, like, he finds like an under, underground place for them to stay. Um, so I like the fact that how he took up his guard. Uh, it's been, it's been rumoured that he's got one of the uh, Infinity Stones in, in him because he glows orange. Um, what did you think of his character? Uh, <clears throat> out of every character that I've seen in the Marvel Universe, I think he's one of the most interesting ones. He's very interesting. Uh, he's, like, he's like a man with like, very few words, but man, when he fucking fights. I did think he did look familiar. I was slow to catch on. <laughs> yeah, Idris Elba, people forget. Idris Elba is uh, British, not American. Uh, you've seen the White Luther. I actually haven't, but it's on my list. I need to still see that as well. But yeah, um, his character, he survived this one, but I've got a feeling for Thanos to have the infunnings he got, he's going to have to die. Hope not, but if they do, they gave him a long scene. His best appearance at the trilogy. Now, this was a shocker, but wait. It's not really a shocker, because what did they do? They showed it in the trailer. Um, but yeah, sh they always say about, well, type of hammer, what does he always say you have to be? Um, worthy. Worthy. Well, she weren't worthy. Well, wait. She was his sister. Or is uh, it four? Or is it four? Um, but yeah, yeah um, she destroyed it, crushed it. I'm surprised by that because, like, I mean, do you remember that scene from like Avengers: uh, Age of Ultron, like where Captain America lifts it, kind of like moves a little bit. You see Iron Man and like uh, you see Iron Man where he tries to pick it up with War Machine. They couldn't lift it, could they? No. Uh, do you think Rat Bag would be worthy? <laughs> well, we'll see. But yeah, um, she crushed it. In the comics, um, when the Melan I can't pronounce it right, but when the Melana, the name of the hammer, I can't pronounce it right, when it, when it goes, they replace it with an axe, so they may have four now with an axe. But yeah. Hopefully we'll start seeing them with his more thunder powers, because I don't feel we've seen enough of that in previous films. Ah, oh, that's what they're doing now. I think now they're going to show him more, him more with his thunder. Like, this is the show... You don't need to use your weapon, use your natural abilities. So yeah, he's the god of fun, so you use it. That's shocking. Now, this one was a biggie for a lot of fans. Like, anyone who's read the... Um, biggie Smalls. Biggie, yeah, Biggie Smalls. Anyone who's read the World War Hulk comic book series will know that they go on to a planet called Sakaar. Sakaar is a place where they have the Contest of Champions. It's like a gladiator world. Um, now, from what I've... No scenes for this, like the music of it was very trippy, mm. wasn't it? And the characters who who live in the dumpsters where they dump all the rubbish. So. <laughs> <laughs> dump all the rubbish. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I really like the scene in this. I think this was one of the most realistic um, planets I think they've shown in the Marvel universe. I mean, they're all realistic, but this one, seen it, it reminded me a lot of like Star Wars: Force Awakens. Um, like anyone who's seen this Star Wars scene of like Takadana, Maskanata, um, the pirates and some of the smugglers and scoundrels. It kind of reminded me of that. 
Um, it was very good. I uh, love the planet. Now this scene, if people look closely, top right you can see the man thing as a character, and then in the middle you can see, if I remember right, is it Billy Ray or something? People who might not know, he's like a bull or something, and he's uh, like an animal who's basically like four. Just so uh, they pay close detail and basically showed their faces in it. It's very good to use. They actually did. They actually did a movie about him. The man thing. Oh, it looks like it's got everything to us. <laughs> actually does. But right, this guy was called the Grandmaster, played by Jeff Goldrum. Uh, Goldrum. Um, if you remember right, at the end, the credits of Gone the Galaxy, you actually see a very quick clip of him. Um, dancing. Now his character <laughs> was very, very sarcastic, very funny, very um, stuck up, very selfish. I liked his character. Like he shows like how some people are dictated. They try and control everything, and yeah, and they kind of bit him back. Um, I liked his character though. He was very like lively. What did you think to his character? Yeah, he's got a, like a humorous feel about him, but he's also. But like a dark passenger. Like you kind of like him, you know, he's a jerk. Um, yeah, in the comics, he's actually got like a blue face. So I like the new look that they used. I, I kind of preferred the movie version look to the comic look. The comic book look. But yeah, uh, if you check out the Easter egg at the end, he survives and I wonder what's, where it's going to go next. Does he have any connection to Thanos? Well, Korg, the uh, the rock creature from the Contest of Champions, oh, the species was actually shown in the last four. Um, four to dark world. If anyone who remembers, four of those fucking spins of hammer, um, uh, fucking faster than a fucking washing machine when it's fucking. I don't know what I'm about. Uh, but yeah, um, basically the same species returned, cool, but this is, was him from the previous four movie. Yo, man, we're gonna see this now. The ultimate sulk, the Hulk. Now, what did you think to his appearance? It was incredible. Incredible. From the tenor, um, yeah, his. Like Doctor Strange, his he had like a bigger bigger part in the movie than I thought. Yeah, and that's the debate for the look from the World War Hulk Planet Hulk series. Um now that fight, that battle was one of my favourite one on one fights. We all remember the uh, Hulk versus Thor fight from Avengers Assemble. So after five years we all got to see the new fight. If you watch it closely though, um Thor does actually have a power with the Hulk once he's using the weapon, but when it's hand on hand combat, I think the Hulk wins. Wait, what did you think to him talking in this movie? <laughs> I've always wanted to hear what he sounds like and finally he talks. Maybe he was talking the Avengers as well. Um, like I say, um, anyone who's a Hulk fan, like, really, we've only ever heard him talk like the comic book series, uh, the cartoon series. Not talking the actual comic books, but obviously, yeah. But yeah, I mean, you only hear him talking the cartoons. Um, so yeah, this is like the first time you've properly heard him speak this much dialogue. I don't know, and yeah, they do the voice right, and yeah, it's perfect. Now <laughs> that pitch in the background of uh, the devil's anus. Okay, now, now that anus must shit a big massive poodle. Um, let me say, uh, yeah, in this though, yeah, they, they mentioned how Bruce Banner, he hasn't turned into the Hulk. For, uh, he hasn't been, Hulk, uh, Bruce Banner hasn't been around for two years. So it's like, it's like he's got amnesia, like cause obviously the Hulk persona obviously took over. So uh, I like the fact that how in this one, they kind of had where Hulk's actually been around, rampaging for a lot longer than Bruce Banner. Um, so obviously he's got to catch up on the last two years of events, what's going on around the universe. Um, yeah, and this is still witty, funny, the banter's there. Uh, banter by Banner, you get it? We, But yeah, um, like his appearance, uh, like I said, the last time he had an appearance in another Marvel movie, other, other than the Avengers movies, was obviously when he appeared uh, at the end of Iron Man 3. So it was good to see him pop up. Um, what did you think to Bruce Banner in this, Dave? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad he was in it. It's been a while since uh, he's appeared in the film. Has it been like two years? Yeah, two years, two and a half years. Uh, yeah, but fantastic. Obviously, his ship crashed on Sakaar. He's been fighting ever since, obviously. But yeah, uh, it's going to be interesting now to see how him and Banner get along. Yeah, um, well, this character, Scourge, his was very interesting. I mean, um, he, like, fights, like, with Asgard, um, with, obviously, like, Thor's, um, like, mates, like, groups who he hangs around with. They all got killed. I won't see which ones. I'll let you see for yourself. But, um, in this, though, yeah, you see where he's, like, an executioner. Like, he's one of those people, like, where he just, he's, he's just the guy who wants to do his job. Um, he's got his morals and that, but he just wants to do his job and she kind of like brainwashes him into fighting for her needs, then Asgard's. 
yeah, um, obviously in the end he comes back and he uh, comes, comes back to the good side and yeah, he helps them out. What did you think to his character? Uh, it was a bit of an odd one, but you could tell like he wants to do the right thing and he didn't really want to work for him in the first place, but he had to because he was either that or die. For those of you who don't know, his character is um, played by Carl Urban, you know, the guy from the Star Trek movies, so yeah, it's good to see him appear in this. Now, the biggest surprise that I had with this movie was big, big, big spoiler that um, Asgard was actually destroyed by the demon that you saw at the beginning of the movie. Um, I was very surprised by this because obviously anyone who knows this, it's like if you associate Spider-Man with New York, you always associate Thor with um, you always associate Thor with Asgard. So to have his home planet die, like they say, Asgard wasn't about the place; it was more about the people. So that the history of the Asgardians died with this, but it's going to be with um, Thor. I say I was very surprised by this as well, like how he lost his eye. They copied that from the comics. Um, how now he's the king now after like six years of teasing that in the first four movie from 2011. They've actually shown him there. That he's now he's now the king. Um, so yeah, what did you think to uh, to the finale? Uh, I reckon it's the best one I've seen since Iron Man 3. Uh, yeah. As well, I'd say, um, as well, um, Stanley Cameo was one of the funniest as well. So well, they announced recently that they're going to be doing the, what were they called? Those pop, what were they called? They, those pop vinyl. Yeah, you know those the pop things up there? Like, yeah, yeah, pop vinyl. The pop vinyls, um, they're going to be doing them. Any of these Stanley cameras are going to turn them into pop vinyls. Um, if I'm saying it right, but yeah, um, so I'm surprised about that. But yeah, this is our review. We've kind of rambled on, I don't know, but uh, so it's the first time we've done a review like this, um, the audio. And just let us know like what you think to this. Um, hope you liked it as well. Um, I think this will be the last four movie of the trilogy. Um, because Marvel have kind of said that they're going to do like a trilogy for each character, which kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, so now the next one up is the Black Panther movie before Infinity War. Uh, but if this is the last four movie, I think the when out on high, I think it's the best one of the trilogy. What did you think, Dave? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be one of my favourite in the past five, six years. Uh, it's just, as I say, I know it's not just, it's just come out, but. Definitely go see it, it's worth it. Very worth it, like I said, we, walked, we saw it in 3D, it was very worth it. Um, but yeah, that's our review, we hope you liked it. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. We're big Marvel fans, so let us know like, um, what you thought to the movie. Um, yeah, that's it, so peace out guys. Peace. So, hey! <laughs>